What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Matt Loberstein. The main reason people follow this channel is because I have built up a seven figure business on the back of Amazon, creating my own brands, dealing with manufacturers, customizing my products and then selling them using Amazon where it's hands off. So if that sounds interesting to you and you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel because there's a lot. If you didn't catch the last video, I talked all about shipping. One of the main confusions, one of the most frequent questions that I get. So make sure you go back and watch that one if you're confused and overwhelmed about shipping. Right now I'm about to hop on a call with Samer Brax. Uh, this should be a cool interview and um, I'll link up that video if it's up by the time this one's up. If not, check it out. It's probably gonna be a really good one. All right guys, just got off the interview with Samer and then I had a few back-to-back -back other calls. Uh, all went good. I'm really excited for the interview with Samer to come up. We talked building a brand, like what to really keep in mind with a brand. Let me know if you want another video or another several videos about me just talking more about that. Like how to think about a brand. What is a brand? How to think about, you know, expanding out. Like I always talk about not just having one product, but having multiple related ones. What are the ways to really think about that? For now, check out that interview, but I think I'll do more about it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video devoted just to that topic. For the main topic of today's video, I want to talk about PPC. Uh, just haven't talked about it in a while on the channel, so um, just really think I can give you some value on the ways to think about ACOS, uh, what is that, what is PPC? I'll just give a little brief intro first and then uh, we'll dive into some higher level stuff as well. Okay, so first thing, let me just lay out some definitions just in case you're brand new to PPC, you don't even know what that is, you're just stumbling through and it's all overwhelming. So what PPC stands for is pay per click. And this actually goes beyond just Amazon. Google has had PPC forever. It's just a sponsored search result. So in the Amazon context, when you type in a search for something, you will see products that pop up just like organic normal search results, except they say sponsored right by it. So the way that it works is those sellers of those products are paying to show up there. They're actually paying when you click on that listing, therefore pay per click. They're setting a bid, which is the amount they are willing to spend at the top end for that click, and then they are spending anywhere up to that uh, based on the competition of bidding. So you're bidding against other sellers that are bidding on the same keywords, and then whatever the top bid is, that's how much you're paying for that click. Now, the entire reason you'd wanna do this is of course to get more sales. Uh, the more exposure you can get, the more clicks you can get, the more potential sales you can make. So in a perfect world, you'd be able to buy clicks much cheaper than the profit of the sales that you get from those clicks. That's the entire idea of PPC, but in just a second, I'm gonna explain why there's actually a little bit more to it. It's actually a little weirder than that, but that is really the core of it, is that you wanna bid, you wanna get clicks, and you wanna make them profitable. So the way that you know if it's profitable is a metric that Amazon gives you. There's a whole bunch of metrics. We could dive into those maybe in another video, but the one that really matters is called ACOS. Sometimes we call it ACOS. Uh, this is Advertising Cost of Sales. What this means is how many sales are actually being attributed to those uh, clicks that you paid for and then the percentage of the purchase price that you paid. So for example, if you spend $5 and you get $20 in sales, you have a 25% ACOS because it, it costs you $5 to get a $20 sale, 25%. Five out of 20 is 25%. So that means basically you're paying $5 for a $20 sale, which should be very, that should be profitable if you're having like say $10 profit on $20 and you can spend $5 to make $10, then you should make that bet all freaking day, of course. So here's where PPC gets slightly more complicated. I wouldn't really say complicated, but just conceptually, you need to think about it a little bit differently. Now, as I said, obviously, it's super obvious when a PPC campaign is profitable, and that's great. For example, if you have a 10% ACOS and your profit margin is 40%, well then you're obviously profitable. That's easy to understand. What's harder to understand is that there's a bit more going on and that you need to realize that PPC is one of your best ways to get traffic. 
especially it's traffic that Amazon likes. You're paying Amazon for this traffic. They're obviously going to favor it. It's running through keywords as well. You're bidding on specific keywords and, and we know that any sale through a keyword is going to help us to rank for that keyword because the sale is showing Amazon that your product is relevant to that search. So the more sales through a keyword, the more ranking of that keyword. That is uh, search rank in, in summary, just outside of even just PPC. But running PPC will allow you to rank because you're getting, you're, you're pushing PPC out through keywords and those sales lead to rank. So you need to be thinking about it as a ranking tool in addition to just like, oh, another way I can make a little bit of money. So as you can see there, now PPC might actually look to be losing money, but maybe it's really actually helping you ranking, which is to help you make money. So it's like you're, you're profitable in a more roundabout type of way. It's not all super cut and dry and very obvious. That's a taste of the way you need to think about PPC is that it's helping you to get out there through Amazon system and to show up in a lot more places. Therefore, the actual ROI is more than what appears to just obviously be profitable. So that's very key to the way that I think about PPC and the way that I teach it and the way that I recommend that you think about it because PPC is helping you at break even. If you could run PPC and you could spend tons at break even, honestly, that would be worth doing and you need to get your head around that, is it's worth doing because it's helping you rank, which is gonna to lead to all other types of sales that are going on that are not being attributed to PPC. So taking it one step further, here is where I think even the ACOS is not fully trustworthy and that there's other ROI that's not obvious. This is that, um, well, actually, first off, really quick tip, if you are actually running these campaigns, you're just getting started, and you're seeing that you're spending money but there's no sales showing in your PPC, uh, reports uh give it you know 48 hours or so because it does delay so it's not immediate just keep that in mind that's a kind of a separate tip but what i think is beyond that i think that there are some sales that are not attributed to ppc that are a result of ppc because it's only going to report if that click leads to a sale within 14 days now there's a few sub points to that point first off the obvious one what if somebody what if you click what if you as a customer you click on an ad and you buy that product uh, 15 days later, doesn't count for PPC. It doesn't show up for PPC. I don't know about you, but with me, I've definitely found products that I've not bought within the first 14 days of, of being interested in it. I'll just let stuff sit in my cart uh, or I'll just know like, oh, I'm planning on buying this thing, but not right now. Uh, and then you buy it later. So right off the bat, those are obviously not going to be attributed to PPC. Amazon tells you that straight up, it's 14 days. That's how it's attributed. And also, if they were to clear their cookies or maybe they were looking from another account, that, that's gonna get lost also. What if they're browsing Amazon at work and they're not logged into their Amazon account and they find your product, they click on your ad, they, they go home and they're on their iPad, which is, and then that's logged in, but they weren't logged in. That's not gonna attribute because it, it's not tracking them. So I think there's some of that happening as well. Uh, no doubt. I mean, how often do you literally find something, click on it and buy it? That's not the way that I shop. That's not the way most people shop. So overall, and there's, there's even more to this, but like overall, my whole point is that there's a lot of ROI and PPC that is not just super, super obvious. So you need to think about it as a ranking tool. You need to realize that some of it is dropping off and you need to just be happy with break even or even a slight loss because it is allowing you, it is buying you the other sales and the traction, which is ultimately what you really want. So that is a super important thing you need to keep in mind, just an overview of how you need to be thinking about PPC. That is super crucial. You can't be pinching pennies because there's so much other stuff going on than just the obviously like, oh, well this campaign is not profitable enough, so I'm gonna cut it off because that campaign is probably helping you in other ways. So don't be super, super tight on always trying to refine down. Sometimes you just need to push because you need to think of it as a way to get traction. Now let's talk how to actually like do some campaigns, some brief overview of optimization. Uh, we won't go super, super deep on this right now because then this video will probably turn into like a 30 minute vlog and I don't think that would be entertaining. So we can do that more if, let me know if you want to go deeper on this. but. Really, 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 this is the truth. Um, PPC optimization is way more simple than people will make you believe and they will make it dramatically more complicated than it needs to be. So in a sentence, and this is gonna sound simple and that's because it is, here is your complete guide to PPC, your complete guide to PPC. <laughs> it is this, it is you need to try a bunch of stuff, you need to cut out what's not working and you need to scale up what is working. That's it. Try a bunch of things, 
The stuff that is super, super not profitable, cut it out or tone it down. The stuff that is very profitable, try to spend more. The stuff that is break even or so, I would say keep it running, like we said. So I know that sounds simple, but that really, really, really is the core of running your PPC, optimizing it, all of that. It is that simple. There are other tips and tricks and click here and do these, export this and all of that. For example, that stuff is important. You can run your search term report on your automatic campaigns. I uh, don't wanna overwhelm anyone who's new right now, but you can, you can do automatic campaigns or phrase match manual campaigns, and then you can export all that data, figure out what keywords are actually working, dump those into a new exact match campaign, continue to refine and refine more and more. But the, um, the sort of idea behind that is do more of what's working and cut out what's not. So one last tip for today's vlog on PPC is that um, I get asked about, should you run an automatic campaign? And here's just what I wanna say, even if this is day one, no matter what else you're doing, if you're super technical and you've exported all of these lists of manual exact match keywords that you know you wanna target and you're going super deep on this from day one, this still applies to you. If you know nothing about PPC, you're super not technical, you should still do this. And that's for anyone, you should always run an automatic campaign. In any situation, you should always run automatic. So I'm not saying only run automatic. What I am saying is that at the very least, you're gonna run an automatic campaign. And even if you're getting super technical from day one, you're still gonna run an automatic campaign in addition to whatever else you're doing. So automatic campaign always and in addition to whatever else you're doing. Have another call and then I'll keep talking on that. All right, just got off another consultation call. Always really fun to get to connect with you guys and help you out. So that was awesome. Uh, I was talking about why you always wanna do an automatic campaign regardless of how technical you get, even if you go further and do the other manual campaigns. And the reason for this is that you're going to be able to get data from your automatic campaigns and from your phrase match manual campaigns, but that's for later, I guess. But you get data that you'll be able to use to build better campaigns and even better listings because you're gonna be able to see what keywords actually converted in your automatic campaigns. You can run the search term report and then dig into that and see the keywords that actually had profitable ACOS. And then you can export all of those keywords drop those into an exact match for, uh, campaign and then attack those keywords that you know are profitable and you, fa you know they're profitable because they happen through automatic. And that is the best way to find profitable keywords. It's the best way to get other ideas of keywords you might wanna put into your backend search terms. Of course, there are softwares, uh, like I use uh, some of the tools in the Helium 10 suite for keyword research. But in my opinion, like what's better than knowing a keyword actually led to a sale? Like that's, that's huge and Amazon's just gonna find those for you. It's just gonna display your ad where it thinks your product is relevant. That's what automatic is. All right, Jessica and I are gonna head to dinner. So um, I think I'm just gonna wrap this up now so I don't have to lug the fat giant camera with me. Oh, I made this new this new site, I used Kit. There's a link down there for all of like my camera stuff. I get questions about that. So I put it all in this one place on Kit. It's kind of cool. You can just see all the camera stuff and all the gear that I use uh, for the videos. So that's cool. Uh, the only one that's not in there is of course Francis who is editing these videos and that's where the magic really happens. Uh, there's no link to Francis in the kit. You can't buy him on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Uh, I think it's cool. And you can check out all the other things as always. Click all the things, click all the things. And um, I'll see you in the next video.